The principles laid down in the aforesaid case of Hadley versus Baxendale have been adopted in Section 73 of the Indian Contract Act and the same has also been applied in various Indian cases. Section 73 of the Indian Contract Act provides as follows. When a contract has been broken, the party who suffers by such breach is entitled to receive from the party who has broken the contract compensation for any loss or damage caused to him thereby, which naturally arose in the usual course of things from such breach or which the parties knew when they made the contract to be likely to result from such breach. Compensation is not paid for any remote and indirect loss or damage sustained by reason of the breach. In Madras Railway Company versus Govind Ram, a tailor had given his sewing machine to the railways to be delivered at a station as a consignment. He did not mention that any delay in the delivering of the sewing machine would result in damages for the business of the tailor as he had planned to do good business at the place proposed where a festival was to be held. The sewing machine was delivered after the festival was over. It was held that the railways were not responsible for the damages as the railway authorities were not informed of the specific purpose of delivery of the sewing machine, namely business, during a festival. Now let us have a look at some of the illustrations. A contracts to repair B's house in a certain manner and receives payment in advance. A repairs the house but not according to the contract. B is entitled to recover from A the cost of making the repairs in a manner confirming to the contract. Another illustration would be A. Contracts to let his ship to be for a year from the 1st of January for a certain price. Freights rise and on the 1st of January the higher obtainable for the ship is higher than the contract price. A. Breaks his promise. He must pay to B by way of compensation a sum equal to the difference between the contract price and the price for which B could hire a similar ship for a year on and from the 1st of January. Another illustration would be A. Contracts to supply B with a certain quantity of iron at a fixed price being a higher price than that for which A could procure and deliver the iron. B. Wrongfully refuses to receive the iron. B must pay to A by way of compensation the difference between the contract price of the iron and the sum for which A could have obtained and delivered it. Another illustration would be A delivers to B a common carrier, a machine, to be conveyed without delay to A's mill informing B that his mill is stopped for want of the machine. B unreasonably delays the delivery of the machine and A, in consequence, loses a profitable contract with the garment. A is entitled to receive from B, by way of compensation, the average amount of profit which would have been made by the working of the mill during the time that the delivery of it was delayed, but not the loss sustained through the loss of the garment contract. Another illustration would be, a. Having contracted with B to supply B with 1000 tons of iron at 100 rupees a ton to be delivered at a stated time, contracts with C for the purchase of 1000 tons of iron at 80 rupees a ton, telling C that he does so for the purpose of performing his contract with B. C. Fails to perform his contract with A, who cannot procure other iron and B, in consequence, resents the contract. C must pay A 20,000 rupees, being the profit which A would have made by the performance of his contract with B.